Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about gravitational acceleration. When people use the word gravity in physics, they usually are talking about acceleration and not force. As we learned from Newton's second law, F equals ma, that is, the net force equals mass times acceleration. As we also learned, the force of gravity, F of g, or w, which is another way to express gravitational force, equals the gravitational constant g times mass 1 times mass 2 over r squared. Now, if we were to uh, try and put these two equations together, sort of fuse them together, we would get <coughs> um, f of g equals m1 times a. And here we see that a is everything else in here that does not include m1. So this is the gravitational constant, r squared, and m2. That's all of this. This is a. Therefore, acceleration equals, uh, acceleration uh, of gravitational force, that is, uh, equals gravitational constant times mass 2 over r squared. Now on the surface of the Earth, of course the gravitational constant is always the same, we know the mass of the Earth, and we know our distance from the center of the Earth, and that's considered to be the radius. The um, total gravitational acceleration on the surface of our planet turns out to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and this is a very famous number, I'm sure you've seen it before. This is the acceleration you experience when you're, you are in free fall. So if this were the surface of the Earth, and you are falling from a very short distance away, maybe, I don't know, 100 feet off the ground, and you are falling down to Earth, if you started with a velocity of zero, you would fall with this acceleration. A equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Of course, uh, this could also be positive depending on what you want to designate as your uh, positive and negative directions. I always uh, personally use up as positive and down as negative, which is why my gravitational acceleration is always negative, but you can do whatever you choose. Um, basically here we have shown that force equals mass times acceleration, and gravitational force equals g times m1 times m2 over r squared, and therefore if you factor out the m1, the mass, you get the acceleration. And this is how we learn about gravitational acceleration and free fall, things that will be applied in our next video in a practice problem.